What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. We are here because today I would like to do some tests to see if a certain dinosaur is strong enough to take on all of these other dinosaurs. So in this episode we're going to be doing some separate videos for each of the new dinosaurs that were featured in the new DLC the Cretaceous Predator Pack. And in today's episode, we're focusing on the Utah Raptor. I want to see if it can take on all the small carnivores and some of the medium carnivores. So its opponents will be Troodon, Proceratosaurus, Dimetrodon, Dilophosaurus, Pyroraptor, Monolophosaurus, Deinonychus, Atrociraptor, Velociraptor, Australovenator, Herrerasaurus, Concavenator, Cryolophosaurus and Megalosaurus. I added in Cryolophosaurus and Megalosaurus because I believe the Herrerasaurus and Australovenator can actually fight them without getting one-shotted. So if they can take them, then Utah Raptor can probably take them. So first, let's release the Utah Raptor. And it's only one of each, so I just picked a random color. <coughs> This guy looks cool. I mean, I... Oh, that is awesome. This guy is just... really gorgeous looking. If the Pyroraptor looked like this in Dominion, that would have been awesome. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we've got the Utah Raptor and we'll be sending in random carnivores to go up against this thing that it can take on anyway. Let's release the first opponent, Troodon. I bet this thing's gonna be tiny in comparison. It looks like they're about to square off. Don't run into the darkness, Trudon. Yep, let the Utah Raptor go to you. Yeah, yeah, Kajal. We get it, you don't like dinosaurs. And look at that. Troodon got absolutely one-shotted by the Utah Raptor. Oh my god. Okay, you can eat the Troodon, you deserve it. Alright, let's bring in the next opponent. Now this next little carnivore is a, a little bit bigger, but not by much. This is the Proceratosaurus. I want to see what will happen if this guy tries to take on an Utah Raptor. But yeah, the Utah Raptor absolutely destroyed the Troodon. Alright, it looks like they are about to square off. Now will Proceratosaurus get absolutely destroyed like Troodon was, or will it have a fighting chance? Let's find out. And once again, absolutely destroyed. Completely obliterated by Utah Raptor. Alright, let's move on to the next opponent. Up next we have the... Not a dinosaur, but a mammal-like reptile, the Dimetrodon. Now, I've seen it fight small carnivores before, so I'd love to see how this would go. The Dimetrodon is a little bit larger, and it has some mass on its side. So, let's see what would happen here. Oh, looks like Utah Raptor is about to square off with Dimetrodon. Let's see how well this goes. Alright. Will it stand a chance? Let's find out. Oh, it does stand up. It survived a hit. That's good anyway. Alright. And it's dead. Well, it managed to take a hit, so... That's good anyway. And the final one of the first hatchery, we have Dilophosaurus. Now this guy is very iconic in the Jurassic franchise, making its debut in Jurassic Park and not returning in the live action series until Dominion. So we'll have to see how this one goes. So far, Utah Raptor has been pretty flawless. So I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up winning this next one. Finally, it looks like Dilophosaurus might be ready to square off with Utah Raptor. Or maybe it was just a fake out. Alright. Let's, um... Oh, maybe? 
Okay, yeah, yeah, they're they're trying to. Alright, let's see how well Demet or Dilophosaurus fares against this guy. One shot. Oh, the Demetrodon actually stood more of a chance there. Stood a better chance. Oh wow. Dilophosaurus did not stand a chance. Alright, up next we have Pyroraptor, the inferior feathered raptor. Let's see how well this guy fares. I think Pyroraptor might be a little bit stronger, but maybe not strong enough to fight Utah Raptor, but hopefully, hopefully it is strong enough. All right, I'll let you guys know when this battle commences. It looks like the battle between Pyroraptor and Utah Raptor is about to commence. Yep. All right, let's see how well this guy fares. Oh, he took a hit. He took a hit. All right, Pyroraptor is kind of a champ. Oh, didn't even get a single hit off. Yo, Utah Raptor is just way too strong. Why do you always sit on your opponents after killing them? All right, let's get rid of Pyroraptor and move on to the next opponent. All right, up next we've got Monolophosaurus, which appeared in Camp Cretaceous. Season 3, I think it was. I think it was the same season the Scorpius Rex and Oranosaurus were introduced in. So, I guess we'll see how this turns out. Oh, looks like Utah Raptor is about to um, square off with Monolophosaurus. Alright, yep, it's darting over. Alright, can Monolophosaurus take him? Let's go. Ooh, he takes a hit. He does take a hit. So, they're taking longer to kill. Saying that, absolutely destroyed by Utah Raptor. Wow, okay, alright, alright, so... Are you gonna eat the... Okay, you're actually gonna eat it this time, and not lay down on it. Alright, moving on to the next opponent, we have Dinonymous, or the Terrible Claw. Honestly, an interesting take on this dinosaur to say the least. But originally the Velociraptor was supposed to be Deinonychus, but people were worried that, oh, people aren't going to remember him, but whatever, you know. I'm kind of iffy on this design. I don't really like this. You know, it looks too ugly in my opinion. But that that's just me, though. Let's get rid of Monolophosaurus, and I will let you guys know when Deinonychus decides to square off with Utah Raptor. Looks like Utah Raptor wants to square off with Deinonychus. All right. Let's see how this turns out. All right. Will he be able to take a hit? Nope. Absolutely one-shotted. Okay. So, Deinonychus, one-shot. Proceratosaurus, one-shot. Um, Troodon, one shot. Dilophosaurus, Monolophosaurus, and Dimetrodon can take a hit, but they don't last very long. Alright, up next we have Atrociraptor. Let's see if you can take this guy on. And maybe fight back. Because actually this guy is stronger than Velociraptor. So, maybe... Maybe it might be able to take on Utah Raptor. I don't know. We'll have to find out. In the next video that I do, I'll do a, um, a battle royale of all the small carnivores. See which ones will come out on top. Alright, is this one a legitimate fight, or is this another fake out? Let's find out. Yep, legit. Alright. Alright. Atrociraptor can take a hit. Did a little dance. I don't know if Atrociraptor got a hit. It. Ooh. They're actually calling it off. 7%. Oh! Atrociraptor actually did some damage. Okay. They can actually do some damage to this guy. Though saying that Atrociraptor is looking worse for wear at 10% health. Yep, I missed it, but absolutely destroyed by Utah Raptor. 
So, Utah Raptor just destroyed a Trossoraptor. And last but not least, in this section, we have Velociraptor. We'll see if this guy can handle a Utah Raptor. A Trossoraptor actually put up a little bit of a fight, so maybe Velociraptor can do the same. All right? Please let this be legit and not a fake out. All right. Yep. All right, let's see if Velociraptor can take this guy. Yeah, there's a huge size difference. All right, Velociraptor can take a hit. Oh, may have actually did damage to it. Are they going to call it off? They're calling it off. 1% <laughs> health remaining. Yo, Utah Raptor here is no joke. This guy is no joke. He did take some damage from the Velociraptor, but... Yeah, Velociraptor can actually do some damage. Alright, I'll let you guys know when um, something else happens. Oh, looks like they're about to fight again. It might be over. And just like that, Utah Raptor takes out Velociraptor. Alright... So that's Velociraptor out, and now Utah Raptor is still fully healed, and it looks like it's going after a goat now. Yep, it went after a goat to celebrate. Awesome. All right, moving on to the next list of opponents, we have Australovenator. Now this guy is one of the tougher, smaller carnivores. So let's see if this guy can take him on. All right, looks like they're about to square off, or is it a fake out? Nope, they're squaring off. Okay. Alright. Let's see what happens here. Australovenator is pretty tough. Ooh, Utah Raptor does get the first hit in, however. Oh, Australovenator's actually fighting back. This could be a tough one. They do a little dance. But it looks like Utah Raptor is the upper hand. 72% against 36%. Okay. All right, so we are getting into tougher opponents. Another round. And let's see what happens here. 71% against 100%. Oh, and it looks like Australovenator is done for. Utah Raptor has won, and once again, he's sitting on his opponent. Wonderful. Moving on to the next opponent, we have Herrerasaurus. Now, this guy is also pretty strong as well. I remember doing my Herrerasaurus squad versus Australovenator squad video on the main channel. And these guys actually won. So, I'd love to see how this turns out. Looks like they might be able to square off. Or is it a fake out? Nope, they're squaring off. Good. Alright. Ooh, Utah Raptor lands the first hit in. Herrerasaurus lands the second hit. So these guys can definitely take on me. They can stand up to it anyway. But it's not looking good for Herrerasaurus. Ooh. Utah Raptor is an absolute monster. It really is. I think it's going after a goat. Yep, going after a goat. I love that animation. Alright. I'll let you guys know when the next battle commences. It's 80% against 32%. Alright, this might be a fake out, but I don't know. Let's see. Nope, it's legit. Alright. Well, why are you drinking? Um, Herrerasaurus? Ah, nothing like drinking some nice green grass. Wait, we're fighting? Oh, let me get into position. Oh, there we go. And it looks like... Yep, yeah, Herrerasaurus has lost. Alright. Utah Raptor, your strength is incredible. So you've gotten 11 kills and 15 wins. No losses. That's pretty amazing. 
All right, next up we have another dinosaur that also was in. Ooh, that's a nice. One. That was also in this latest pack, Concavenator. It's classed as a medium-sized theropod, but we're gonna see if this guy can take on Utah Raptor. Because I have seen them, they can fight head-on. So, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens here. But when it looks like Utah Raptor got the first hit in, Concavenator got the second. They do a little dance, they might call this one off. 28% against 75%. Yeah, it's not looking good for Concavenator. Oh, poor Concavenator. Not looking too good at all. Alright, this one might be a fake out. I don't know. No, it's real. Alright. And it looks like it might be over for Concavenator. Yep. Concavenator absolutely destroyed by Utah Raptor. Alright, so Utah Raptor can take on Concavenator, and now it's at 100% health once again. Alright, we only got two more left. And this time we have Cryolophosaurus. Now this is another medium-sized carnivore that can fight Australovenator and um, Herrerasaurus. So this guy shouldn't have an issue fighting Utah Raptor as well. Looks like they're ready to square off. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Cryolophosaurus actually gets the first hit in. Okay. Was not expecting that. Though Utah Raptor does get the second hit in. Oh, another hit from Cryolophosaurus. And I think they might call it off here. Oh, another hit from Utah Raptor. Oh, and Utah Raptor actually lost. 74% against 33%. Okay. So it looks like Cryolophosaurus might be the limit here. We'll try with Megalosaurus just in case. Wow. Utah Raptor might have just met its match. Okay. This might be the end of Utah Raptor with 60% against 100%. Yeah, it might be over for Utah Raptor. And just like that, it's over. Alright, so Cryolophosaurus can actually take this guy on with ease. Alright, so I just released a second Utah Raptor. This one looks cool, I guess. Actually, this that gives me an OC idea. That might be part of my squad. Let me just see what skin that is. Yukon River Rana. Okay, I'll have to remember that for a skin. Alright, since Cryolophosaurus actually defeated him, I'm afraid to see what Megalosaurus is gonna do. I figured this guy would be the, um, the largest one because I'm pretty sure they also can fight Herrerasaurus and, um, Australovenator. So, let's see how this turns out. If this guy gets one-shotted by Megalosaurus, then Cryolophosaurus will be the limit when it comes to small carnivores. You know, or small to medium-sized carnivores. Because I think anything bigger than Megalosaurus might just one-shot Utah Raptor. About to square off with Megalosaurus? Right, let's see what happens. Will it get one-shotted or... Nope, it can stand up to it. Alright. Let's see what happens here. Megalosaurus gets the first hit in. Oh, and the second hit. Oh, I think Utah Raptor might be done for. Oh, nope, saying that, it does get a hit in. And they are calling it off. Okay, Megalosaurus is at 87% and Utah Raptor is at 3%. Yeah, not looking good. So yeah, Cryolophosaurus and Megalosaurus can take it on. So it looks like Concavenator may be the limit when it comes to opponents Utah Raptor can take on. And just like that, it's over. Yep, Utah Raptor did not stand a chance against this guy. Alright, let's capture this Megalosaurus here. So yeah, 
when it comes to small carnivores, small to medium-sized carnivores, Concavenator is the limit. Unless we modify the Utah Raptor. Alright, let's go ahead and release a third Utah Raptor. Ooh, this one's got purple stripes. And blue feathers. I kind of like that. That's nice. Salvabard, Pelophylix. Alright, now... Let's see how well it fares against the Nightmare of all Dromaeosaurs, the Indoraptor. I totally messed up that intro, but whatever. Now, the Indoraptor is known for being the Dromaeosaur's worst nightmare. Every Dromaeosaur, every small carnivore for that matter, every small carnivore's worst nightmare because they always get absolutely one-shotted by Indoraptor. So immediately, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Absolutely destroyed. Um, okay. Alright. That didn't happen before. The Utah Raptor was able to stand up when I did the showcase. Alright, one final test. Let's see what a genetically modified Utah Raptor can do. Max attack. Max health and max stamina or resilience. Because the Utah Raptor was able to stand up against this guy in the showcase video that I made. I'll probably link it in the description down below. So, yeah, let's see what happens here. Alright, let's see what a genetically modified Utah Raptor can do against this thing. Or will it be completely one shotted? Ooh! Okay, it can at least fight back. Alright, and it looks like they are calling it off. 55% against 100%. Alright, I'll let you guys know when the next battle commences. Alright, let's see what happens here. Ooh! A hit from Indoraptor. Okay, interesting. Another hit from Indoraptor. And a hit from Utah Raptor. And it looks like they are calling it off. 82% against 3%. Yeah. Alright, I'm certainly not using um, Scorpius Rex. I'm certainly not releasing that. Alright, so we all know what's going to happen here. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.